Hi, my name is Mr. D and today I want to take a look at using the mid-segment theorem. So we have in triangle ABC, D is the midpoint of AB, E is the midpoint of BC, and F is the midpoint of AC. If AB equals 6, BC equals 8, and AC equals 12, find the perimeter of triangle DEF. So the first thing we should do is just draw everything that was given to us. So we're starting off with triangle ABC. We have A, B, C, and we're told that D is the midpoint of AB. So when we go over to this diagram, we could eyeball it, and we could say right around here is going to be the midpoint, and we're going to call it D. E is the midpoint of BC, so we eyeball it and find the halfway point between B and C, and this is going to be point E. And then last, we have F is the midpoint of AC which we could say is going to be right about here. The next thing we were told is the measure of the sides. So we know that AB is equal to 6. So we have, we'll make this a little bit neater. We have that AB is equal to 6. Next we know that BC is equal to 8. And finally, we know that AC is equal to 12. And the task was to find the perimeter of triangle DEF. So before we connect D to E to F, we need to make use of the mid-segment theorem. So if we look at the mid-segment theorem, it states that when we connect the two midpoints of the sides of a triangle, that that segment is parallel to the third side and it's half the measure of that third side as well. So when we put it to practice, notice if we connect D and E, the third side involved is AC, because notice DE is parallel to AC. So the theorem is stating that DE is going to be parallel to AC, and it's also going to be half the measure of AC. So notice if AC is 12, then DE is going to be half of that, so it's going to be 6. So we use the theorem twice more. Next, we could connect D to F, but notice that D and F are located on sides AB and AC, respectively. So the third side, in this case, is going to be BC. So when we connect D to F, it's going to be parallel to BC, and it's going to be half the measure of side BC. So notice if BC is 8, DF is going to be half of that, so it's going to be 4. We're just doing 8 divided by 2 is 4. And now we do this once more, so notice now we're going to be connecting F to E. F and E, this side, oh I'm sorry, this segment is going to be parallel to AB, and from our theorem, we know that this segment has to be half the measure of side AB. So if AB is 6, we do 6 divided by 2 is 3, and that tells us the length of FE. So once again, all we're doing is applying this theorem, which states that when we connect the midpoints of two sides of a triangle, it's parallel to the third side, and it's half the measure. So the key words that you have to look out for in this type of problem is the word midpoint. The fact that we have three midpoints allows us to activate this theorem and use this concept of mid-segments. So remember, if they use the word mid-segment, you could use the theorem, or if you see the word midpoint appear more than once, you know that when you connect them it's going to be half the measure of the third side involved in the triangle. So then the last step, since we are finding the perimeter of triangle DEF, we're just going to add up all around the triangle. So if we trace a path around, we're going 6 plus 3, and then the last side we're going another 4. So when we add all three of these sides up, we're going to have 13. So if we want to write our answer, for, write our answer formally, the perimeter of triangle DEF is equal to 13. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on using the mid-segment theorem. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.